Hey everyone, welcome to Upload Special Election Edition. Woo! Uh, unfortunately, Andrew Moody um, got his balls caught in a bear trap again, so he's not able to join us, which is unfortunate. But we have replaced him with someone even better, Ruvan Sologix. When uh, when he says better, he means like as a human being, like you know, just like morally, ethically, yeah, no, um, and physically, <laughs> physically uh, for and sure. I, I, yes, that's the. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I destroyed our entire order. I I, I planned out what, <laughs> how I was going to introduce everyone, and then totally contravened. And to, bitch. it hurts. It hurts. To my right, um, the effervescent. Lou Taylor. The world's fucked. And as always, our self-hating white man, Todd Van Allen. Today I have Georgia on my mind. <laughs> uh, now, I will say today's episode is going to be a little bit different because usually we, we hit a lot of different topics in the sort of political arena. But right now, I think the election sort of encapsulates almost like all of the different headlines that we've been talking about the last few months. It's like, we've really been uh, pushing so heavily toward this moment. And then of course, it's this perpetual anticlimax where we still don't really know who's gonna win, although it looks like Biden. So mm -hmm. let, let's start there. Like, who do we think is actually gonna win this thing? <laughs> yeah, dead silence. It's done, right. it's over, Biden's won. Trump is going to whine and bitch, but I mean, it's done. You know, he's going to have to flip like either two big states on recounts or like four little ones, and it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I just think Biden has, has edged it. Yep. I think it, it depends on whether you're talking about, <laughs> talking about it on a political level or an existential level. Uh, <laughs> on a political level, sure, for Biden, existential. What did I say before? The world yeah. is yeah. fucked. It's, but here's the thing, like we, we, like this was telegraphed to us ages ago, like anyone who has watched this show and anyone who has thought of anything uh, over the past month, two months, knew this was going to happen. As soon as they started deregulating uh, the post office, as soon as they started to intervene uh, with, uh, with the election process, we knew that this was going to happen. And we knew that you know he he would want to stand up and get his participant ribbon at the end of this, saying I have won, I have won, and uh, would not wait for the votes to come. And they're coming, and they're coming. And hats off to the uh, governments in place right now, the uh, at the state level that are just barreling through and going, nope, we're doing our job, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, it's like you know he's having a tantrum off in the other room, and everyone is just quietly counting, and then we're going to see what the result is. So. Thankfully, that has occurred, and it, I don't think it matters a jot as to uh, how much he uh, lawyers up and, and, and tries to intervene there. He has no evidence. There is zero evidence to support any sort of claims that he has made thus far. When news agencies are shutting, shutting off your, news, uh, your speech and going, that's enough, you've done something. 